Welcome back, everyone. The time is now 6.24. We are here with Craig Beals from Billings Senior High. Welcome back to the show. Always a good time when you're on, so we're oh, glad to see you, you back. Yeah, good morning. Thanks for having me. Okay, good morning. Now, you have this yeah. colorful figure in front of us. What does this represent? Well, this is a geodesic dome. So this is a whole bunch of triangles put together to make a three-dimensional shape. Um, and what this represents is about nine years ago, a math teacher, Jenny Combs and myself, we challenged our students to make a geodesic dome. So taking geometry and turning it into something three-dimensional. The goal was then to scale this up to much larger, like triangles this large, Ooh, wow. that's and, big. and turn it into something that we could use for mm -hmm. science. So what we did was we scaled it up, and the kids cut all the pieces, and we turned it into a planetarium. Mm -hmm. And so for the past nine years, well, I guess it's been about seven years since it was built, um, we've been able to tear it down and set it up, and um, we were lucky enough to have you guys come out for a field trip. Usually field and trips go the other <coughs> way. We get to leave school. <laughs> yes, right. and you hold us in suspense, too. He, he didn't let us know what it was before we walked into the classroom. He's like, right. I want to see your reaction. I got a little scared. I was afraid to go <laughs> in the classroom, but <laughs> we braved it and went in, and I guess uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our reactions and then the awesome, awesome scene when you walk inside. Come on in. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh. <laughs> so this is our geodesic dome planetarium that's built all out of cardboard and um, was completely designed and engineered by students at senior high in 2009. And then every year we set it up, every year we take it down and kids from all over get to sort of experience science and also engineering. So it's almost just as cool in what it, the shape of it. But mm -hmm. once you yeah. get inside, you can see we've turned it into a planetarium as ah. well. We got four, we got eight actual planetarium movies that they play at real planetariums from Rice University. So they cost several tens of thousands of dollars to buy them, but Rice University gave us to them for the price of the disc wow. so that we could use them for educational purposes, which is pretty fantastic. And then we've got some other software that projects a star field and we can learn about the stars and the constellations. The projector system we made, the cheapest projector we could find was about $10,000. So. I started doing a bunch of searching. I found a guy in Australia that is sort of pioneering, like hacking a, a projector system. <laughs> so it's running out of the computer. The computer screen is bent a little bit. It's going into here and it's hitting this. I bought it from custodial supply store for 15 bucks. And then, so it's getting warped two times and then when it hits this warped surface in here, it reshapes itself to be mostly normal. The asteroid crashed through Earth's atmosphere and hit the ocean, sending jets of water skyward. We built it three different times and it fell apart. It just caved and crashed and tore apart. Mm -hmm. And we all sort of cried. We dried our tears. We started over. And that happened over the course of three months to be able to get to this. And now it's lasted for seven years. And thousands of elementary school kids have come and, and learned about engineering and learned about science and it's just been a really cool thing so i think it's this is an important message for the community of billings to see what our kids are doing they're doing amazing things definitely craig thank you so much for inviting us in here our minds are blown once again thank you so much <laughs> oh, thank you all right we'll be right back after this break